David Bowie's eponymous 1967 debut album flopped and failed to get the attention of the public. But it did impress the mime Lindsay Kemp, an up-and-coming name in the British avant-garde scene, who suggested they collaborate. Bowie started taking dance and mime lessons from Kemp, joined his troupe, and even appeared in his play Pierrot in Turquoise, in which he sang three original songs. Three Penny Pierrot is one of them, and it is about the protagonist. Threepenny Pierrot, we love you. Threepenny Pierrot loves us too. Pockets of gladness, gay time eyes, comical hero, Threepenny Pierrot. Pierrot is one of the stock characters of the Commedia dell'arte. He is a sad, white-faced clown, a naive optimist who always gets crushed by reality. Over the centuries he has come to symbolize many things and became a cultural hero in Western culture. Here he is also a three-penny Piero, which suggests that he is one of the simple folks, like the characters in the three-penny opera. Bowie emphasizes the connection between the audience and him. We love him and he loves us, because we are the same. Happy little feet that dance all day, lonely little heart with lots to say. Stepping footprints on your mind, offering thoughts of Columbine. Columbine is another Comédia dell'arte figure. She is Pierrot's eternal love, the one he is always pining for. Bang the drum and blow the bugle call. Pierrot takes the stage to play for all. For here's a life his fortune rules forsaken by his Columbine. But he is always forsaken by her in the end, and never fulfills his heart's desire. This is his fortune, but Bowie adds something else. His fortune is also to play this character for all of us, to represent us in our failures. That is the reason for the deep emotional connection between us, mentioned in the chorus. To tap his feet to greet dear Harlequin The hearts of both so keenly hard to win A patchwork frame of tears and wine The nectar for cruel Columbine Applaud the three and leave the stage for long Puppets gold, their faces sad and drawn Relive each trial of rise and fall, the love which lacks between us all. Harlequin is another clown figure, a trickster who always takes Columbine away from Pierrot. Pierrot ends each play heartbroken, his tears nectar for cruel Columbine. Yet he never gives up, and will always come back again to try once more. He believes, says Bowie, that we are lacking love in our lives, and hopes to bring that love. This hope will always rise and then fall and be dashed again, but it never dies. For Kemp, Pierrot was more than a character he played on stage. It was an archetype of human existence, which he aspired to portray in his art. And he will pass this aspiration on to Bowie, with resounding effects. For this story of a face-painted clown who sets out to achieve love, and then rises and falls in front of our eyes, is the part that Bowie will play again and again in the coming years. To understand Bowie, you must first understand Pierrot. Mark the Bowie Knife is talking to us in this little known threepenny piece and tells us what he's going to do once he gets back in town. <laughs> 